Okay, so Rabbi Freeman, again, this, this question's been coming in all night. Why does God let bad things happen? It's a good God. Why does he let bad things happen to us? I'm going to tell you a very quick little story that will, that will answer the question. When, when we see people who are hungry, what are we supposed to do? Feed them. Who made them hungry? Who made them poor? God. But God told us that when somebody is poor, we're supposed to feed them, not justify their poverty or their hunger by saying, well, if God did it, it's okay with me. God is saying, don't be my partner when bad, painful things are happening. Be my partner only for good things. So I may need to make somebody poor, but you feed him. I, I may need to make somebody sick, but you heal him. And I may need to put people in danger, but you save them. That's your place. That's your job. That's your contribution. Now, somebody asked Elie Wiesel, who wrote many books about the Holocaust, why? Why was there a Holocaust? Elie Wiesel said something brilliant. He said, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. The man said, you know why, but you can't tell me? He says, that's right. He said, why, why can't you tell me? He says, because if I tell you, you'll become a Nazi. And the man said, what are you talking about? I'm Jewish. How would I become a Nazi? Listen to this explanation. You're asking me why, because it bothers you. It hurts you. You can't sleep. Six million innocent people murdered? Why? Now, I'm going to give you a good answer. A good answer. And you're going to say, oh, so that's why. Okay, I can sleep now. That means you've become a Nazi. So do you really want an answer? Do you want me to explain why it's okay that six million people were murdered for nothing? You don't want an answer. You'll be upset if I even try to answer it. Because how dare you try to make it okay? It's not our job to make it okay. We don't want an answer. We just want pain and death and evil to stop. So we will continue to ask God, stop enough what well, we don't want it we don't want an explanation for why it's good to suffer no. so here's the thing what god does he tells us right right up front it's mysterious i can't explain everything i do you're gonna have to trust me but not just trust me object demand that the pain stop Demand and pray that this thing get over with quickly. For whatever reason the pain is there, we don't want it. We don't want it. And we'll never get comfortable with it. That's our job. So we have to keep demanding that this, this ugliness should stop. And do whatever we can to make it stop. But don't explain to me why it's okay. I don't want to hear that. Okay, thank you. That, that was actually uh, very powerful. I learned a lot from that. Thank you. Um